Position the patient prone on the operative table using two C-arm fluoroscopy units to provide simultaneous lateral and Ferguson's views. Use a long blunt Steinman pin to locate and mark the skin along the S1 end plate and sacrum posterior cortical wall. Make the incision approximately one centimeter below and approximately one centimeter posterior to these two lines respectively. The incision should measure approximately two centimeters. Using a mallet, the sharp 9-inch Steinman pin is advanced through the incision to the ilium. Final position should be approximately 1 cm from the anterior sacral wall. Thread the pin sleeve through the top of the drill guide until the pin sleeve stops rotating. Insert the drill guide and pin sleeve assembly over the Steinman pin until the pin sleeve tip is firmly against the ilium. Unscrew the pin sleeve from the drill guide while simultaneously advancing the drill guide until the pin sleeve is fully disengaged and the drill guide spikes are against the ilium. Place the striker tube onto the drill guide. Using a mallet, tap the striker tube until the drill guide is secured to the ilium and no movement is identified. Remove the striker tube and pin sleeve from the drill guide. The appropriate samba length is determined by sliding the drill gauge over the Steinman pin. Once determined, remove the drill gauge. Place the adjustable drill collar over the drill bit and set the collar to the previously selected Samba length. Connect the variable drill bit to the drill bit T-handle. Rotating the T-handle, a pilot hole is created with the drill bit just short of the tip of the Steinman pin. Once the desired depth is reached, remove the variable drill bit and Steinman pin. Fill the somber screw with demineralized allograft bone prior to insertion. Install the cannulated Torx driver bit into the Torx bit T-handle. Insert the assembled Torx driver bit into the drill guide and advance the somber screw into the pilot hole until the screw head stops against the ilium. Remove the cannulated Torx driver bit. At the surgeon's discretion, the packing plunger assembly may be placed into the drill guide to dispense additional demineralized allograft bone into the implant and or sacroiliac joint. Place the parallel guide assembly, which had been set for the distance between successive screws, into the drill guide. The second Samba screw entry point should be on a plane just anterior to the spinal canal at a level just below the S1 neuroforamen. Place the second Steinman pin into the parallel guide sliding block and using a mallet, advance the pin until lateral to the level of the S1 and S2 neuroforamen. Remove the parallel guide and drill guide and repeat the entire procedure for insertion of the second implant. A third or fourth implant may be inserted using the same technique. The third implant should be located just above the S2 foramen level. Prior to wound closure, all implants should be visualized under fluoroscopy to ascertain proper position of the implants, which should be across the sacroiliac joint without violating the spinal canal, the neuroforamen, the anterior sacral cortical wall, and sacral ala. The wound should be closed using standard surgical technique.